We're probably the only people in the world that regularly use animal communicators or psychics to involve animals in the creative musical process. Yes, I'll be there. We'll take whatever the dog says and turn it into a song. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. She started talking right away. She said, I will lick you. It I will was, lick you. I will lick you. Um, she said, this is my soul. Mm. It's not a song, it's her soul. And she kept repeating soul. We're trying to create a bridge between animals and human beings using music, because that's what we do. Some say it's wrong, but I know. My dog wants to sleep on the bed with me all night. We did this album called Ugly Dogs Need More Love. And we printed up some copies, and it got such a big response. And we said, we do music about animals. We want to try to do music with animals. Dr. Kim Ogden. She was the first communicator we really worked with, and we learned a lot from her. She told us, I'll put focus groups together. And she would play it for these dogs. <laughs> And, you know, we, we tested different kinds of music, and she would call us back and say they liked this, they didn't like that. Johnny Cash tested out the lowest. What, remember what the one dog said? Oh my God, yeah, one, the, I'll never forget it. The reason Johnny Cash tested out the lowest was, the dog's comment was, that's just a sad man talking. And that's why the dog didn't like it. After that, I did produce Johnny Cash. Yes, and, and Dan and, produced Johnny Cash. And I, I never <laughs> told him no, the, the, that story. I should have. You should have. I you should have told, told him that. Yeah. So, you know, basically we did songs to make dogs happy. And then we went on Scott Simon's Weekend Edition. And when it was played over the radio, thousands of dogs responded to it. And it just turned into this phenomenon. Squeaky deaky. I love my squeaky toy, squeaky deaky, it makes me jump for joy. So we had to go into what most people would call kids music, but it's not, it's much, much deeper. Dreaming heaven, dreaming heaven, I'm not she likes it when she sings the word dream. <laughs> yeah, she keeps saying dream, dream, dream. Ask her if she dreams. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I asked her, I said, Ricochet, do you dream? She says, yes, I do. It's nice. I love dreams. Life is a wonderful. It is all a dream. Boom. You could really see that the dog was responding to the music. I don't know how to communicate with dogs, so you know I don't know exactly what she was saying, but um, it seemed like they were getting some solid uh, vibes. So that's always good to have in the studio. With tremolo or no? Yeah, let's try tremolo. Yeah, she likes that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was communicating with Ricochet. Uh, the other people were picking up on what she was saying and making suggestions, and I kind of had to laugh because I'm supposed to be the communicator, and everybody is communicating to the dog and they don't know it. Everything has communication. Everything is alive, responsive, and aware. Insects, amphibians, trees, um, flowers, grass. It's all connected to each other, so they all talk to each other. Everything we're doing here and everything we're talking about is to try to convince people that's not just a dog, that's not a piece of property. It's a living being that probably has something they can tell you. So it's very 
important to us to try to get uh, this message out, to make people think. Just think about it, man. Just, you know, just the possibility.